Man, today I got something exciting. A viewer has sent me his custom knock sensor. Stick around. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the garage and today is one of the most exciting videos I've made in a long time because a gentleman by the name of Nick Fowler aka Fowler Tuning and that's FWLR, FWLR Tuning, I'll, I'll put links everywhere, has sent me his new custom knock gauge and let me tell you, I'm, man I'm so excited about this. I want to go ahead and get this all this stuff out and we'll talk about it here in a bit. Um, boop, 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 boop. So getting into the device uh, we've got a card here with a QR code on it. I don't know if it goes straight to the manual or not, but on the back there is a wiring diagram and it's pretty simple. We've got a switch 12 volt, a ground, and a zero to five output. So if we're wanting to data log this somewhere else, we have the ability to. And then it talks about what to do if you're using one or two knock sensors. On top of that, we've got uh, Nick's business card here. Big shout out to Nick there and I may have just doxxed him. Hopefully you can't read. I don't know that he wants his phone number out there. Sorry, Nick. But Fowler Tuning is fwlrtuning.com. And what do we got here? We got a, a sweet shirt. <laughs> okay, so the front, the front says Fowler Tuning. And the back, beep boop. You get the idea. That's cool. Thanks for that, Nick. And what else we got down in here? I'm not saying that all of these are going to come with this stuff. Don't expect a t-shirt by any means if you buy one of these off of Nick. Uh, two knock sensors. These are nice units. They come with, I'm guessing, the metric uh, bolt style head. They are Bosch sensors. So these are high quality knock sensors included in this kit. Um, with long enough leads to run inside, oh, easily, and to wire into your gauge. Then we got uh, a sweet little keychain on here that says, uh, nerds go faster, and some decals, gotta have decals, nerds go faster. So let's take a look at this. Okay, right away, there's uh, a gauge mounting ring on here. I have the assumption it's not gonna fit over the back, so I'm guessing that this thing needs to be disassembled and this actually goes in kind of the center section here. But pretty straightforward, simple, clean, uh, which I like about it. We've got a knock signal level. We've got a, what I'm assuming is the gain so we can turn this up or it may be the volume because this actually has an audio amplifier built in so you can listen for knock. How sweet is that? Like device, this thing I think is about 250 bucks. Double check on Nick's website. But these things uh, that have an audio driver on them and stuff like that, you're, you're looking at spending normally 500 plus dollars for something like this. So this is a great uh, product to get it out there at a reasonable price. I can't think that he'd be making much money off of that uh, to be able to listen to knock. And so the cool thing about it is I don't know how well you're going to be able to tell, but on the face of it here, where we have the knock sensor level, we have, and I don't know if it's just because this is the literal printed circuit board, but you have kind of a printed circuit board design on here. So, and then it looks like the rest of it is 3D printed, which... Okay, cool, okay. We're just the back on screws. We've got these nice tabs to do it. We're just going to take it apart then and find out what's going on here. Is this part on screw two? Yes, it is. Okay. You have piqued my interest. Now I wonder if the gauge mount will fit. Right, let's go. Oh yeah, great design, Nick. And then we can take this part and thread it down on there and we've got kind of a what looks like a gopro style mount for it so 
If you did not want to uh, permanently install this, you could use like a windshield mount, toss this thing up on there. And in fact, if you didn't want to use this backing ring, I'm sure you could flip this backing ring on there and go that direction and not have these tabs on there. But we've got a windshield style mount with GoPro. Now keep in mind, uh, I'm not sure this is ABS or, or what kind of plastic. Most of this is all 3D printed. But he did does have a nice textured design on the outside of the ring there. So it'll look good mounted in a gauge bezel or a gauge mount on your A-arm also. But great idea, Nick. Thank you for sharing it with us. Make sure you go out and check out Fowler Tuning. And if you are tuning on a boosted application, I highly suggest, highly suggest you get this. So I bought a more expensive one than this, you know, probably at least twice, if not a little bit more, for doing the Typhoon. I sent it with the Typhoon because I don't have anything else boosted in here right now. Well, I guess I got the truck now, so I might have to wire these up on the truck and listen to it for some knock. Uh, but this is one of the things between this and a wideband that is going to save your motor. If you are able to listen to it as you're doing your data logs, once you start getting into knock, you can get off the throttle soon as you hear that first ping and save your motor. So. Definitely check out Fowler Tuning out there, fwlrtuning.com. And uh, if you have any questions for me or Nick, I'm sure Nick will be uh, in the comments down below. Put them down there. But really excited. Thanks for sharing this with the channel, Nick. And uh, I look forward. If anybody else has any kind of uh, devices that they're home making and uh, they want to get exposure, let me know. But for now, we're going to get back to it. You know the drill. Thanks for stopping by the garage. Remember, ABT, always be tuning.